and 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 I guess you know when you when you think of um when you think of everything that you, you you've gone through um in 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 life what's the proudest thing that you'd look back and say you know what and it could what you know whatever it is but you know, from the time you were 18 and upwards but what's what would you look back and say this is probably my proudest moment either you know what you've contributed or what you've done so um because we're talking about you know my career. Yeah, it it would be no two things. Knowing, regardless of the fact that I didn't get to enjoy the boys to men journey. Yeah, I gave something to the world. Yeah, that they loved, and then the second one was when you, as a young person, I'm in tenth grade watching Babyface for the first time, saying, I love you, babe, in the scariest way, going, oh, my God, I want to work with you. Two years later, sitting in a studio, writing a song that he is singing. Hmm. (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm done. You know, I'm just like, Babyface doesn't need to sing anybody's song. He, you know, he helped me finish writing the song. But for him to think that my my product is worthy of him singing, this man, yeah, man, just <laughs> man, you know what I mean? It's like because you know I, I know a lot of people love Kenny. I don't think anybody really took Kenny the way that I mean, like you don't know understand, like it's not even obsessive or anything. It's just. Even though I'm 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 creating voice to me with Nate, that wasn't even the biggest thing to me. It was the work of Babyface. And that is, I don't know. It's just what it was for me. Yeah. And then I actually got to do that, you know. So yeah, that yeah. was my product moment. Yeah, I called my mom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's always hard when people are thinking about producers and stuff and we think about Jimmy and Terry and LA and Babyface and and I ask people who do you prefer LA and Babyface or Babyface on his own and everyone and producers get stumped like oh goodness yeah they had the hits in the 80s but then he had the whole waiting to excel and and, and it's hard to think oh which era of Babyface <laughs> is their favorite yeah. depending on your generation I mean if you were to think of it which with LA and Babyface or with Daryl Simmons of course or Babyface. Um, man, that's a good one. Bro. You're right. I mean, that that's see, is it key when you ask the question? It's so loaded for us as writers and the producers because yeah. we are aspiring to be where they where they are and were. Yeah. And we know, I know firsthand how they got there. Mm. So they're almost like talking about apples and oranges. You, you <laughs> just can't put them in the, you can't put them in the same basket because the moment when they were the LaFace production camp, it was yeah. the greatest thing we ever seen. Yeah. You know, it was the same thing with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. It was incredible, you know, yeah. and hit after hit yeah, after yeah. hit. After, I mean, just endless hits, right? Yeah, yeah. And you wanted, and so when they came with LaFace Records, okay, I'm an artist and a producer. So I'm like, I want to, I want to be on the label, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and so I can, I can say, yo, I was a part of that history. I got to do that. So, but then, I got to be with Babyface when he was doing his thing. Yeah. So it's really that's hard, man. If I had to pick him, <laughs> if I had to pick, it would be at the end when 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 he was just doing his thing. Cause I got to be a part of that, you okay. know, in a very deep way, you know. You say you did some part of Wait and Take Sale? Yes, yeah, so I'm saying, like I sang backgrounds that ooh, I get so high. And then I get, why does it hurt so bad? Why do I, I sang the backgrounds to that record? Um, yeah, I was like literally in the studio when he was doing all of this stuff. It was wow. crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, wow. And and to think that he's still 
making records now, yeah. still mm-hmm. getting hit, hit hit singles and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> he does. Yeah, he... yeah, he's he's a uh, he's that guy. Oh goodness! So, Mark, how can people get in touch with you if they want to keep up and stuff? I mean, um, because I don't think you have. Do you have a Mark Nelson at Instagram dot com, Facebook, or what are I you? Do. I do, I do. Um, all of it is in redevelopment, but you, when you Google the letter I, M A R C Nelson, like the iPhone, I Mark Nelson. Yeah, okay. It's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. That's who I am. You'll catch me in all of that. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And then, and you said the autobiography next summer. Are yeah. we getting new music before then, or is it coming around? You're getting new, yes, you're getting new music before then, during, um, and um, Ian, like I said, I'm, I'm getting ready to be very heavy in uh, directing, um, okay. and and you know being in things that I'm filming as well. Yeah, and then Chocolate Mood would be on Spotify probably by the end. I would of the year say or next top summer. of the year. I would, yeah, I would say probably the top of the year. Yeah, okay. But I want people to look forward to what I'm going to make my first single. It's called Say Yes. It's a beautiful ballad, um, R&B ballad um, that I wrote that uh, I'm going to drop as the first single. Uh, I'll probably say uh, February, right before Valentine's Day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll definitely give it a, a push and stuff. I, yeah. I appreciate your time. You know, it's, uh, you well, know. Thank <laughs> you. I know it's right there for you. No, 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 not not to worry. I mean, as I said, for me, it's it's always fascinating to be able to hear your journey and um, you know, being able to see how you celebrate the highs and you know, reflect on the on, on the lows, but still are able to be up, up upbeat and stuff. And as oh, I said, it it's it's been really inspirational, it's been great. Uh, and I really appreciate that. And as I said, definitely looking forward to when you are getting ready to release either the, the stuff your stuff in, in the new year to be able to get you back to to talk about the music and and talk Thank about you. your, your new video that you're about to film and stuff like that i appreciate you i appreciate you very much okay yes yeah, so, well thanks mark uh, i know it's just about 12 30 1 12 30 here but i uh, know this has been really good and i appreciate the time and everything hey thanks for watching really appreciate it if you love what you watched there's over 100 artists that we've interviewed so please check out the videos Remember to like, share, how not, and subscribe. But better still, become a member of Halftime Chat and get exclusive videos ahead of time. But thanks for watching. Take care.